<laughs> and here we are as promised, I'm going to do my first debutant soap. Debutante soap? Yes, the first one. Debut soap? Debut or debutante. So remember I told you you have to check the temperatures of your oils. That's right. 78, so that's a little high, but we're going to go for it anyways. And our lye water is 75, which will cool down the oils to about, what, what's the average? 70... I don't know. 75.5? Good enough. You need gloves. I need gloves. Put these gloves on. See what i got to put up with? The end of my gloves. Half about half and an inch. And these are bursting at the seam. Yeah. You see? Look at the size of your hands compared to mine. That's ridiculous. Well, you need big hands when you're playing the guitar. So, we'll see how this goes. But yes, it's my first soap. The plan today is to take this whole pile of embeds that are left over from other soaps and put them in this soap. Um, I'm going to put that picture up right now. Bing, Huge pile. Bye, magic, it's there. <laughs> and what are we going to call this? Garbage soap? Trash can soap? But you're going to learn how to make soap. So I'm going to, you're going to stand where I am. Soapy leftovers. You're going to start stirring this and then hold the spatula like this. There you go. Onto like the that. spatula so that it doesn't splash us. Oh, that's right. Very safe. And I stir it in a figure you're eight. stir it. And I'll only stir this one. You can be a little more aggressive. There you go. Scrape the sides and the bottom. I like it, so it's like it all making sure it's all there. even, eh? Yeah. Look at that, expertly around the edge. Now you want to grab that stick blender over there. So, someone, yeah, someone told us in the comments, because this stick blender makes so many little bubbles, to put it in on an angle and burp it. Let's try that. Alright? That's good. Now, the top button is the one you want to press, because that's yep. low. Yeah. And you want to hold the handle of the bowl right. while you're doing it. And just bursts. Like, don't keep it on, but just burst for a few seconds <coughs> and then move <coughs> around. <coughs> there you go. <coughs> it's got some kick in it, hasn't it? Yeah. That should um, that should be good. Got some kick in that. You know what I'm gonna do now? Cause I'm stupid and I forgot. We're gonna add some titanium dioxide. Hey. This is gonna get thick. What am I? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah. But I'm not. Guess what, folks? I ran out of my favorite titanium dioxide, so I had to go back to the regular stuff. And look at how not as white it gets. Yeah, it's creamy rather than... Just to show you why I love that other titanium dioxide so much. So we're just cleaning the stick blender off a little bit. We don't want to waste anything. Guess what we do next? What? I just scrape the bottom and the sides a little bit. Make sure all that color is in there. So let's see that how that's more of a cream color. Now you can see the difference, right? With the other titanium dioxide. And this, see these lines on top? Whatever that is, I don't know. Trace is just means it's emulsified. Everything's emulsified, mixed thoroughly. Yay. And you can see the trace of the soap on top. Yay. So we have to pour off our piping, and oh boy, are we ever going to have a lot. So I'm guesstimating we're going to have about that much piping. Oh, You're going to no, pour the no, fragrance no. in. So you need a checklist. <laughs> Today we're using monkey farts. It doesn't smell as bad as it sounds. It actually smells delicious. Very fruity. You go ahead and pour that in the bowl. Nice. Ooh. Like pouring a cocktail, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Mm. And I don't usually have any problems with this fragrance. In every last drop. There we go. Imagine Ding. if we got through this whole soap and forgot the fragrance. I've done that before. Devastating. Make sure everything's still okay in here. Because sometimes, you know, fragrance can do weird things. Yes, it can. 
So, all of our embeds are in a bowl. Look at these, look at these. Buttons, Buttons. flowers. Ice gem tops. Everybody yes. knows in the UK what ice gems are. Ooh. So let's start putting in what we want. What do you want to put in there? I think we should just put an handful. We're going to put some... We have to throw them in. Let's save that daisy for the top because it's white. Oh. Oh no, let's throw it in. Let's just throw them in. We. All kinds of goodies in oh, there. Oh, look at that. We found the top. Oh, it smells like custard, this. Sorry. I know. It does. Ooh. Monkey farts actually smells like food. It smells like, a, you know, you're making it. It's what monkeys eat. It's like a bowl of sweet fruit. They don't eat that. They eat fruit, yeah. That's what I said. And what happens with that? Does it melt? No, it won't melt. Soap will hold it up when it gets a little thicker. And then we'll pour it into a mold. How much are we pouring in? Uh, keep going. Hey. Let's get some of these, uh... Flowers and let's just see where we're at here. Oh goodness! Good Almost. way to recycle your soap bits and make some good products. Sure. What are we gonna no call waste. this? No waste. We don't like waste, eh? What are we gonna call this? The um, um trash can soap. Gooby and Juby's trash can. Trash can or mishmash. You can put about five more embeds in there. The mishmash. So which ones do you want? Five embers. I think five more will fit One, in there. One, two. There's a snowflake. And another little bit. Yeah. Okay. Put them to one side. Is that enough in there? Oh, yes. That's plenty. So how does this all melt then? It doesn't melt. So the soap will harden and everything's just going to stay just like this. But when you slice through it, you'll have all these you know cool designs and colors that's how that's gonna work but we're gonna let this sit for five minutes so we'll be right back and we're back we're back nice that was a quick thick. five minutes wasn't it yeah literally only took five minutes look how thick that is now oh, that's a like, lot of embeds oh you, could, you know you here that, you're gonna stir this because i know you want to if you didn't think that was oh yes this is a real uh, must for those people that like textures oh it's all good <laughs> <laughs> I know only like it just looks like if you didn't want any better you think it was a big sweet pudding you could stick a spoon in and eat it. it. Smells good, eh? But yeah, if you like textures this is a this is a great a great sensation. Should we get it in the mold? I hope we don't get air bubbles. No, I don't think so. Who knows? Here we go. Yay. This is gonna be tricky and messy. Actually, I'm blocking the bad. camera. Not doing bad. I, I don't think I've ever made a embed soap this thick in my life. It wasn't far wrong with the measurements winging it. Um, yeah, probably. Let's see if we can get it all on there. Maybe not, because you've got piping, eh? Oh, the, it's going to be probably the highest soap on the planet. But it's all for the sake of fun. Well, it's a good economical way for you if you're making soap, learning to make soap. You're never going to have any waste. Yeah. You know. not? You just never know what these embeds are going to look like. And this would be perfect soap. When you slice it. Well, we managed to get it all in one mold. We weren't far off. And we're just going to clean our spatula here. And then pick up what we've dropped I'm gonna let that thicken for a couple minutes so we can kinda sculpt it into the center and clean it up how long have you been leaving it for? maybe five minutes five minutes so we'll see you in five oh. count them five. Oh, his hands are too big oh five here five minutes nice and thick we've cleaned it up and guess what I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him use the famous yeah, shovel spoon. Yeah, I know sure he's dying good. to do this. So here's what you're gonna do. What? Well, Whatever you want. You're just gonna. You gotta watch them embeds, though. Just go like that, all the way down. Wait, where's your gloves? No, no, it's okay. Oh. You ripped, so the so hard to get on. Sorry, guys. The, the gloves do not fit his hands. I don't know what I'm doing here. But please use gloves because the soap will burn your skin. Figure eight. Yeah, do a figure eight. Wee. Are you having fun? Yeah. It's just the texture of it. 
Very All right. nice. That's very nice. Yay. We're just going to scoop this over a little bit. So we're just um, thickening up our piping. Oh, look how thick the Oh, boy. That is beyond thick enough. <gasps> My spatulas are disappearing. Who, who am I going to blame for that one? I know you put it. That's a new spatula. You've got loads of them. Have I? Yeah, Might I got the one you put in the sink to be washed. But I thought I had like 15 of them. No, I don't know where they are. Oh, they're probably in my bowls. I have pre batched seven That's right, it's four bowls there. of oil and lye water. And sometimes I leave the spatula in the pre batch bowls. So we're just going to scrape the sides, Gooby. Wee. And the bottom. You want to feel that texture? I know you do. Oh, that's like thick clotted cream that you're about to sip on a that jam just scone. That doesn't sound very good to me, clotted cream, but oh, clotted cream! I will is, trust you on that. Is is the the finest cream you can get? Okay, let's get it into the um, piping bag. How do we do that? Well, usually you pour you it, but it's it. pretty thick. Let's wing it in. Wing it in. Are we in the frame here? I hope so. There we go. Yeah, is that, anybody who knows what cl clotted cream is, that's what it is. Why is it Only called clotted? It's because it's thick. It's the best cream you can get. I don't know why they, they call it clotted cream, it's just that it's very thick. Never on posh jam scones. There you go, I think that's about it. Lay this flat. Yeah. Down there. Pretty thick. I can see me making some rather ununiform blocks of uh, piping. That's okay. So watch. One, two, three. Want to try it? Yeah. Okay. One, two. Nice one. Keep going. Oh, look at that. You see it? I missed the opportunity to become a baker and cake maker. You did. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Oh, I made a small one there. Damn. No, that's o don't. That's okay. We can go. We're going over it a couple times. Ooh, look at that. But you're out of the mold here. Oh, I'm out of the mold. Yeah. A yellow card for that. Yellow card. I'll get a red card. I'll send it off. It's not as easy though as it looks, but it's mighty good and hey, you're doing a great job. To feel the texture. Oh <laughs> You see how I've been all wonky. I'm making like long ones. Look how of... long they are. I can't even do that if I want to. Oh <laughs> it's awful anyway. They're cactuses. Yeah. Cactus style cacti topping. Ready? A bit more left in that yet. Oh yeah. Not Let's bad though, the first effort. Yeah. It's pretty good. Let's make these ones taller, just so they... Hopefully... Match up or something. You did a great job. Not bad for the first time, effort. Look how tall that soap. How are we? I don't even know how we're going to cut this. Oh, I'm sure it'll go through. Let's try and squish this down a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that works. Tidy up the mess, eh? We'll just uh, <laughs> put some over here. Look how nice and tall you made it, though. It's great. It's like that soap I made a long time ago called Ridiculously High. Let's try to... Um, Get this side a bit taller. Now, are you going to be putting sparkles on your soap? Me? Yeah. I am. It's white mica. And you just give it a shake. Go like this. Oh, look at that. See how shimmery that's getting? Nice. What does that do? Does that help the thing stick? 
No, but do you see the shimmer? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe green and blue, a bit of purple, that'll work. So, we've mixed up some of Gooby's desired sparkle colors. Green, blue, and... Purple. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's hard to get them completely uniform, but... Yeah, you never get them uniform, that's okay. Oh, I missed a bit. Waste is some. Put it on that side, and you'll be okay. Oh, don't worry, you always waste sparkles. That, was, that looks perfect. Yay. Looks absolutely perfect. Now we're just going to spray it with alcohol again. Well, that was fun. Was it fun? Do you like it? Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to cut it. You're going to have fun with that. So we'll see you tomorrow. And we'll cut it up and see what mysterious shapes are inside it. Yes. We have no clue at this point. Oh, we didn't, we didn't do our close-up. Here it comes. Oh, is it ever heavy. Goodness. Just to give you an idea of how tall it is. That's pretty tall. So there is Gooby and Juby's trash can soap. Yay! See you tomorrow! See you tomorrow. Bye! Yeah, it just uh, squalls the bag out. I think because it was stiff it made it the high peaks. Well, look it? at that red circle. I have no idea what that is. But I can't wait to see what's inside of here. How about you? It's going to be tricky. And we got to get through the embeds. Oh! oh. Interesting. Looks like a feature on a wall, doesn't it? Yeah. That'll be an interesting little sample piece. Do you want to try cutting? I'll have a go now. Here, I'll push this way. Oh, yeah, it's got a bit of resistance. Yep. E Yay. Yeah. There's one. And there we go. Down here. I'll see, I'm, I'm six foot three, so I have to bend down. Yeah. See, look. That's what you get, and you mix all your, your spare stuff together. Isn't Beautiful that cool? Salt. Smells nice and all. Very I love fruity. that smell, monkey farts. Let's try another one. Bet you guys want to hear the sound of the cutting, so I won't talk while I'm cutting this one. Here we go. Just barely makes it. Oh, there we go. That's a cool bar. Look at the piping on that. He did such a good job. Really impressed with you. Look at this one. Look at that one. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it was fun doing it. That looks like a carrot. I don't know what this black one is, but so cool. Oh no, you get a thin one there. There we go. Last full sized bar. That was fun. I enjoyed that. 
Here's a little sample slice. Thanks for watching, guys. Ring like, the bell. Subscribe. Like, subscribe. Set it both bell. backwards there. And, and you know what we mean. Any comments, you know, just send them through and we'll try and um, accommodate you. Have fun, people. Bye for now.